Why is it staring at me? It looks just like me. No. No, that's not possible. I'm sitting here, right? That's not me. It just looks like me. It's trying to say something. It's trying to speak to me. Go ahead. You can do it. Yes, that's it. Open your mouth and speak to me, darling. Yes, that's it. Go on. Bad dream. Ooh, rise and shine, Moonshine. Huh? Seth, where are we? Where are the others? Everyone's fine. They're on the command deck. Miraculously, we all made it out in one piece. Except... What? Who is it? Y you don't remember anything, Piercy? What the fuck are you on about? Take a look at your left arm. What the fuck? No, just fuck off. Is this some sick joke to you? Seth, what the fuck is this? Do not play games with me. What the fuck is this? No, 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 no fucking way. My fingers, they're... Fuck no, there's so much blood. I need to throw up. What the... <coughs> Pierce, Pierce, keep it together now. We need you to stay calm right now. Stay calm? I'm missing off my fucking hand, you bitch! Pierce! I didn't even want to go. I just wanted to stay home. And now... We know. This is hard for us as well. Let's just be glad we're all alive. Right now, we could have been making the headlines. What do I do about this now? How did this happen? That bandage will last you the rest of the day. Ask Derek to change it at night. I'm sorry, but we can't give you the five-star medical experience, considering where we are. Huh? Where we are? <sighs> you were the last to wake up. We found you with your arm crushed under a broken heat generator, and brought you here. W what do you- It's better to just come and see, Pierce. Come on. <sighs> Look who decided to join us. <laughs> Holy shit, I was so worried, Pierce. I'm glad you're fine. She's right. We were scared shitless. Can't have a spacecraft with no captain. Derek practically pissed himself. The man's tougher than titanium. Give him some credit. <laughs> so, what exactly happened? Last thing I remember is this fucking tin can losing navigation control and becoming turbulent. You should be glad that's all you remember. I'm sorry. I was the first one to wake up, and I just remember feeling cold, and then I looked around, and I thought everyone was gone. You were all lying there, and I just wanted to go home. This was never supposed to happen. Shh, it's fine, Leah. We've all had quite a shock. It'll be all right. Will it? Does anyone even know where we are? Have we contacted HQ yet? No, nothing yet. I've been trying for a long time. Comms are totally shut down. Shitty thing won't even fire up to play those god-awful beeps and rings. As for where we are, it's... It's just about anyone's guess. Just white, as far as the eye can see. Good thing that life support and the heating still work. Else, we'd be fucked. I'll head outside and check if there's anything wrong with the Exceltra. If we can get in touch with HQ, all of this will be fine, and we can get Pierce to a proper hospital. I'll come with you. It's fine. I'll be back in a few. I just need to take a quick look around before this anxiety eats me up completely. Fuck. 
It's cold. Real good these three layers are doing me. It's always the same shit with these fools. I need to get out of here. The sooner, the better. Richardson is a dick for still putting me on this mission after I explicitly told him not to. Fuck it. It'll be fine. Seth. Seth, boy. Just breathe. That's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, let's just get this fucking over with. I die before depending on these people. Oh, okay. Let's just hope this is just a faulty mechanical problem and we avoided any actual damage. Oh, man. It's so cold. I just want to sleep in my own bed again. I miss Rachel. I hope she's doing fine. She'd be so worried. Probably didn't sleep a night or two waiting for me. Ah, I just can't help but love that crazy side of her. Here we go. Finally. Glad to see the ladder is still intact. There was no damage to the spacecraft as far as I could tell. Maybe it's an issue of, uh, what the fuck is that? Holy shit! Oh, oh fuck! This changes everything! Holy shit! What the? What the f- oh. <laughs> Well, what do we have over here? Let's get you inside. Well, he sure took his time, didn't he? Hey, open the hatch, quick, hurry! Impatient bastard. Wait, wait, wait until you see this. That... <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is it? Bullshit. No way. How did that get here? It was on the hole, glued on with some sort of that silver viscous fluid we found on Mars. Had a tough time taking it off. It looks like... an egg? I, I heard it make sounds. Whatever might be inside it, it sounds alive. How could it? Wait, Annie, go grab the thermal scanner and the RME. Here. Remarkable. We... We succeeded. Holy shit, we succeeded! It's the same! The mission was not a failure. Wait until Rich hears about this. Ears! All right there, big guy. <sighs> what is that doing here? No, 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 it, it's wrong. Everything about this is fucked. We're fucked. None of us will make it out of here alive. Shit, shit, shit. God, I feel like growing up. <coughs> Jesus, dude. Are you good? Get that thing out of here. It's fucking evil. Calm down, man. What do you mean it's evil? We hit the lottery with this. We're going to be fucking rock stars once we get back. There is no going back. This thing will be the death of us. Get it away from here. What are you talking about? I've seen that thing before. Pierce, you do understand that's impossible, right? We might be the first people to ever find life on another planet. Those signals were actually something, and not just a radio scatter from thermo fluctuation. This is life changing. No, no, no. You don't understand. That thing, I've, I've seen it in my dreams. Nothing good will come of this. We need to get rid of it. Now! It can hear everything. Kill it! We have to kill it! Pierce. Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Seth, 
No, no, no. Can we just drop this act, Leah? This man's gone fucking crazy. He's been too drugged up on painkillers for the past few years to be in his right mind. Seth, if you don't shut up right now, I just might punch you in the face. That's your captain. His leniency toward you is no excuse to be fucking disrespectful. You could lose your rank and promotion status for that. Apologize. Now. I'm sorry, Captain. Get that thing away from me. Throw it outside. We need to... Please. Captain, with all due respect, we're all pretty shaken up from the crash. And it's nothing short of a miracle we all made it out alive and in one piece. This discovery is huge and could potentially change all future space travel and interactions with alien life forms. No! Stop! No! Let me go! This thing needs to die! What? No. You shithead? What's wrong with you? No, no. I'll, I'll see it again. In my dreams. In my... That thing, it shouldn't have survived. It shouldn't live. Oh no, it's getting close to me. Stay back, stay the fuck back. I don't want to die in this shit, I'll... Somebody help! Oh God. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at your arm. Don't look at it. That must be the rest of the crew. Oh, I shudder to think what new development has happened to this fucking mission, but no matter. I am the captain. I have to be in control. Pierce! Well, look who's up. Had a nice fucking nap, Sunshine? Shut the fuck up, Seth. Feeling any better, Captain? What happened now? This thing... It spoke. It what? You heard the Lady Sunshine. It fucking spoke. Said some weird shit and has been quiet ever since, the little fucker. Oh God, what did it say? It said something about protection. I think it was asking us to watch over it. Yeah, so we've decided to come up with a plan. We're taking shifts. One of us will be watching this thing at all times and will alternate every four hours. Yeah, I think constant surveillance would be very beneficial here, especially since none of us know what this thing is up to. Are any of you hearing yourselves? Do you really think it's a safe idea to watch over th this thing? Listen, Captain, I get your worry about our safe. I keep telling you this thing will kill us all. Do you not understand me? And there we go. The Captain is going fucking crazy as usual. Hey! Shut up! Bitch. However, before we do anything, Captain, we need you to stay calm here. Uh, I... Uh, sure. What then? Let us just get killed off one by one? Sure. That sounds like a great idea, Derek. Captain, listen. Just call me when my shift starts. I'm going to my quarters. Before that, however, we need to decide on a signal in case we have an emergency. What do you all suggest? <laughs> we could just have Andy scream for help. That'd be fucking loud enough. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> I'm right, though, aren't I? Seth, if you don't shut up, I don't know about this thing, but I sure as hell will kill you first. Whoa, calm down, sweetheart. Stop it, both of you. In case whoever is on the main deck sees anything suspicious, use this. Well, looky here. Our captain's fucking packing some heat. Now that's more like it. A revolver on a fucking space mission. Classic. <laughs> as much as I hate to let this go, I trust all of you enough, barely enough, to expect that none of you will end up with a bullet in your forehead by the time I wake up. Whose shift is it right now? I'll start. You'd better not do anything stupid, Seth. Might want to watch your back, Captain. <laughs> you better think twice before you make a joke like that again, Seth. Remember, I can take this gun from your hand and paint these halls with your brain in the amount of time it takes for your tongue to just about begin shooting out another one of your fucked up jokes. 
Oh, that sounds super fun. You want to give me a demonstration, Derek? God forbid if anyone dies on the ship. But if it has to happen, I hope you'll be the one to go first. I'm going back to my quarters now. Remember to keep a note on the main deck to show whose shift it is next. How long are we going to be stuck here? We don't have any idea when help will arrive and all the communications are offline. I have no idea, Annie. It might even take days before someone catches up. Let's hope whoever finds us makes it to us within 10 days. That's about the amount of time the backup generators will last. After that, only God knows what'll happen to the ship. Don't forget the food and water. We'll have to worry about that too. We'll have to make sure we don't starve to death. <laughs> I like how all of us have forgotten about the giant fucking egg in the middle of the main deck. Yeah, none of us want to think about that right now. We're going to our quarters. You know what to do in case of an emergency. Yeah, sure. Well, look at you. Our ticket to the good life. Let's hope you were actually worth all this trouble. Our little golden goose. <laughs> Shit! Fuck! Here I thought being on this mission would somehow lead us to the big leagues. The only place I see myself going from here is a man-sized ditch into the grounds. I... don't want to die. Not so soon. Rachel, help me. There you are, Seth. R rachel What is she doing here? Why in the world is she here? God, it's Rachel. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so fucking glad to see her again. Honey, what happened? You look like you're about to burst into tears. <laughs> oh, Rachel. You have no idea how much I've missed you. I, I, I thought I wouldn't be seeing you again. Oh, honey. It's going to be fine. I'm here for you. Nothing is wrong. Nothing was wrong. Nothing will ever be wrong. It's okay. You're safe now. Do you remember that bookstore we visited together? It was soon after we started dating. Weren't those the days? Just the two of us, going around and seeing new places, meeting new people. I still remember how you picked that one book and kept going on and on about how you loved it. What was it called? Ah, uh, yes. Wasn't it named after a song by the Beatles? I think it was a Japanese author. I still remember, clear as day, how passionate you were when you talked about how much you got invested in its world and characters. I think it was around the time I started to see you as a special person in my life that you would eventually become. And honestly, honey, I wouldn't trade that time for the world. But, Rachel... Yes, my love? Rachel, we never went to a bookstore. Hell, I, I don't even read books at all. Oh? Rachel, what are you talking about? Are you, are you even Rachel at all? But me said hello. Oh. Rachel? I... What the fuck is oh. happening? Oh. What? Rachel? Rachel! Hello? Ra Ra Rachel? Uh, how do you know my name? Do I know you? Oh, fuck. Rachel, it's me. I do not comprehend. 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 Rachel? What? What the fuck is happening? Rachel? Rachel? Oh my god! Oh my fucking... Get me out of here! Hello? 
Seth? Oh my god. Seth. Not again. Seth, it's me. Rachel. Rachel. Is it... Is it really you? Yes, Seth. It's me. Oh, thank god. Thank fucking god. I thought I would. Shh. It's okay, honey. Just lie down in my lap, okay? I promise it will be all fine. Trust me. they know about tears in the rain. I want you to always remember me. Will you remember that I existed and that I stood next to you here like this? Goodbye, Rachel. I hope you don't end up where I'm going. It's a beautiful place for rotten souls like me, the tormented tales about us. And when everything else is lost, the whisper comes to us at night and tells us tales of the abyss. It then embraces us to our flesh boils in its merciful limbs, and we fade away to relieve the same cursed day over and over. And Dover. <laughs> Fear it. Love it. <laughs> Goodbye. Leah, what happened? <laughs> There's so much blood, Derek. Look at the blood. Hey, it's fine. Come here. What happened? I... I just got here after hearing the gunshot. The door was open and... And Seth was gone. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Leah, my dear. Let's calm down, okay? Take a deep breath. Let's deal with this. Does anyone have any idea where Seth is? His shift hasn't ended yet. Uh, guys, check this out. The egg. It looks. Uh, it's cracked. The egg has cracks on it. Jesus, fuck, that's scary. You don't think... You don't think that Pierce was... Come on, Annie. That's impossible. He's shaken up from the crash. I'm guessing a part of him feels like all of this is his fault. As the captain, he must feel guilty about all of this. Probably needs some rest to get in the right headspace. Still, something doesn't feel right. Where's Pierce? I thought we all came down here. He's probably still resting. Won't he wake up to something special? <laughs> I have to change his bandages too. The man is a corner away from an infection. He needs to rest. But what do we do about the egg? And Seth? We can start by closing the hatch. It's fucking freezing in here. Seth could be outside. And what do you want me to do about that, Leia? I'm just as fucking confused as all of us. So let's just take a fucking minute to collect ourselves. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. This is... This is a lot to take in. Uh, I'm sorry, Leia. We don't have any equipment, and we can't waste our flashlights in case HQ doesn't... 
All we have are coats and a week's worth of food. I'm sorry, but I don't think we can go after Seth like this. I pray to God he's fine and he finds his way back, but- For all we know, he could be seconds away from death. We should- You're right. It's too risky, especially at night. What I don't understand is the blood. There's no trail, no footprints, just blood. The sickening blotches of crimson are already beginning to dry. It feels wrong. Truth be told, I'm holding myself together, but that's been fucking terrifying me for a while as well. Did anyone notice how that goddamn egg is still clean? It's surrounded by blood, but not a single drop on it. The rocks on Mars were like that too. The viscous silver stuff would slide right off. Maybe... Maybe they're resistant to liquid adhesion. Those were rocks. There's something... Something alive inside of this. That's the first time I've ever heard a positive signal on the RME. That frequency only matches Mars's. The heat signatures check out too. We need to get this egg to HQ. Who's on the next shift? Derek, what about Seth? He's out there somewhere alone. He's probably terrified. Did you hear the screaming? People don't fucking vanish like that. Uh, I know that. We simply can't afford to do it. I can't have three of us going out after someone left the ship in rags and unarmed. Someone who might be dead? You're a fucking monster. I'm going after him. Annie. He's part of our crew. We don't do that to people. This place might be getting to your head, but I'm not going to sit here while someone fucking freezes to death. Is nobody going after her? Fuck! Why can't she fucking listen? What the fuck? Children of the Wasteland, stage in the universe, fear the knowledge of those who reside above you in pure land. Earn the Great One's pity, and live unfulfilling lives until we come to embrace you. Blessed be your eyes, having laid upon beings above your comprehension. Blessed be those of you melting in the land of blaze, who have prepared for you. Steven, Leia, you're right? The, the egg. There's another c crack. We need to get rid of that thing. No! <sighs> you saw what it did. We can't dispose of this. Where are we? We'll figure it out. Uh, eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah. We will. We will figure it out. The hatch is open. How? Fuck! Fuck! No! 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 Fuck! No! Why? Why? Why would you? No! Annie, what the fuck? What happened? Are you alright? Holy shit! You're freezing. Come, you need some heat. His eyes. His eyes are fucking gone. Wh whose eyes, Annie? What did you see? Ah! Ah! Oh, it's him. No, don't open it. For the love of God, no, don't open it. No, don't fucking open it. Who's there? The brightness of the stars is a reminder of death. 
the beauty of entire galaxies, the catastrophes happening on a quieter scale. Tiny fragments of destruction that insignificant specks like us find joy in. Oh, we're a fucked up species. Moribund since birth. Did you know that your tears disappear in the rain? Forgotten. Carried away. Never yours the second they leave your eyes. That's life for us. The scum of the universe is as fleeting as that. Even within our rotten race, there are ones more rotten than others. Particles of revolt in the ever-changing state of life. They should be cleansed first. <laughs> Pierce? We thought you were in your quarters. What happened? <laughs> Jesus, holy fuck! You're, you're, you're covered in blood. What the fuck? Oh, this is seriously fucked up, Pierce. Calm down. Put the fucking gun down. Please. Death is gone. What? What just happened? Did he just try to kill us? I think he's lost his sense of direction, along with those fingers of his. The captain wouldn't do that. Not to us. Yeah, I think he just did. <laughs> no, I don't think that was Pierce. He's been rudely affected by the egg ever since he had laid his eyes on it. I think he knows something we don't. He's not the only one. This egg has affected us all. First, it got to Seth. And now, God knows what it has done to Pierce. And now look at us, fighting among ourselves. I agree, Annie. But what stumps me is how the fuck Pierce got out of his locked room. And this... Was he really Pierce when he said all that god-awful things in that creepy-ass voice? I... I think we should move Pierce back into his room. Who knows what he'll be like when he wakes up. Might I put that it may not be suitable to leave Pierce alone like this? I think we need to keep watch on him. <sighs> I'll do it. I don't think that is advisable. Did you have something else in mind? How about this? We keep our eyes on both the egg and Pierce. But we do it in groups. And how do you suggest we rest? I think staying alive between these two is more important than being well rested right now. Fuck. Okay, okay. We'll keep watching groups then. Okay. How about Derek and I watch the egg while you and Steven take Pierce up to his quarters? Sounds good? Sure. What do you say, Steven? You up for it? I gotta say... When we left for this mission, I did not think for one second that we would be looking after Pierce, and not the other way around. But what do I know? Grab him from the other side, Leia. Let's get him up in bed. God knows when he'll come around. It'll be sooner rather than later when we get him out of the same room as that thing. I guess it's us too against that thing for now. As long as we stick together, we'll be just fine, Annie. Do you want to know what this reminds me of? 
It reminds me of how Captain once told me about his dreams. No, n not dreams, but nightmares. He said he got them once every few nights. He told me he often woke up sweating after one of these nightmares. He said... Whoa! Shit, do you see that? <sighs> yes! <laughs> Did the egg just move on its own? Do, do you know what this means? Yeah, it means whatever's inside is ready to come out. Maybe then we'll have our answers. What happened to Seth, to Pearson, and how to get out of here? Annie, it's not a magic clamp. It's an egg. Whatever's inside is probably going to murder us all once it gets out. <laughs> <sighs> you are unbelievable. Hey, I'm sorry if I upset you. I was just trying to make you feel better about the situation. I hate seeing you like this, Annie. Ever since we lost Seth, it's like... It's like I've lost you as well. What I said to you that night, in your bedroom, it still stands true, Annie. I'm tired, Derek. Mind if I take a break and rest on the couch for some time? Sure, but you know, we have to talk about it sometime, Annie. You know how much you mean to me, right? I know, Derek. I know, and you are important to me too. But that does not mean I would abandon this opportunity just because you think it isn't safe for me. It's not safe for anybody, Annie. Then why are you going? That's different. Really, Derek? You think I won't be going fucking crazy over what might happen to you if I stay behind? You are the only person in my life who I care about right now, Derek. And, 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 and you want me to, what, stay behind and let you go alone on this crazy mission to investigate some random signals received from Mars? We are in this together, Derek. I'm not letting you go alone. Do... Do you really care about me so much, Annie? You're not going because it's a great opportunity. Rather, you're going because you can't stand me going alone there? I told you, I love you, Derek. Annie, I don't want to spend any more time apart from you. I love you. I don't have a ring on me right now or anything, but... Annie, will you marry me? <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> I'm sorry for how I've been acting, Derek. I was so scared after we crashed. I thought I had lost you. And then this egg came. You were so caught up in all of this drama that, I don't know, I thought you asking me to marry you was just a spur-of-the-moment decision due to all the pressure we were under at the time. Foolish world. How pathetic you people are. What? <gasps> Derek, what? What? You imbeciles live a life of purgatory. You accept what comes your way. You are content with that. What have you done to Derek? You foolish beings are always complaining. You're living on a planet where you have water and air in abundance. Yet, you're always whining on and on about petty little things. Always trying to satiate your greed with more and more of what you already possess. Derek? What has gotten into you? Please, stop it. You're scaring me. <laughs> Silly girl. Don't you see? Don't you realize? Derek's gone. I have taken over him. Oh, how weak he was. Crying over lost love. Love. Such a flimsy concept. There is no such thing as love. 
it was almost too easy to take over him. His defenses weakened. His senses rendered useless. Oh, how easy. Almost too easy. And now, it's your turn. <laughs> Derek, Derek, you're okay. Oh, you're okay. Oh my god. I had, I, I, I had a horrible nightmare. Oh, Derek. Hey. Hey, it's okay. I'm here. I'm right here. You're safe. We're safe. Hey, do you want to talk about it? I, <laughs> oh God, I, I, I'm just glad you're okay. We, we're okay. I, I'm so sorry for, for how I've been acting. I, I was just so freaked out about this whole egg situation. I, I don't know. I don't want to lose you. I, I never want to lose you, Derek. I'm right here, Annie. You won't lose me. I'm not going anywhere. It's going to take more than just a fucking alien egg to keep us apart. Oh fuck! It's like it hurt me. Uh, um, do you think? Oh, do you think we should take a closer look? No. I think it's the reason behind your nightmare. Maybe we should keep a distance from it. Let's not take any chances here. Whatever's inside it. It's evil. Don't you feel it? I think you're right, Annie. I think our questions might get answered after this thing comes out. Do you think we'll ever make it out of here alive, Derek? Don't lose hope. We'll get out of here. We'll live the life we talked about before getting on the Exeltra. And as soon as we land back at the facility, I'm making you mine forever. I don't want to spend another minute without you, Annie. You won't, Derek. Hey, do you think this thing will crack open before Rich sends some help? Or do you think Rich will witness its grand opening? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I hope he can handle it. The strange vibes of this egg, I swear. Do you think we should trade places with Leah and Steven now? Maybe they should keep an eye on this thing while we spend some time away from it in Pierce's bedroom. Yeah. That's a good idea. I wouldn't mind spending some time away from this room. Let's head upstairs and see how those guys are doing. I think the egg will be fine on its own for a few minutes. It better be. Back. You better put that revolver away, Pierce, before I claw it out of your dead hands. Relax, Leah. I was just telling Stephen how to hold it properly. See? What the hell is going on here? And why is Steven on the floor? <laughs> Pierce was just showing me how to protect myself with a gun when I rolled off the bed and fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Oh, you scared us. We thought Pierce had gotten possessed again and is ready to kill this time. Anyway. Guys, I think something's happening with that egg. What the fuck? What is that? It. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Have you completely lost it? Uh, I. Well, don't you see? That thing is beautiful. Are you blind? Pierce. No. What are you seeing? I. See? Sunshine. It's bright. Like the sunshine. It's what I saw in my dreams. I, I thought miracles like this only existed in the land of dreams. What are you on about? Oh, oh God. It's coming towards us. Don't. Make. A sound. No! No! Don't 
don't you see? This was our problem all along. We were too blind to see past the thinnest of veils. Pierce, move away from that thing, please. No, Stephen. It seems as if you are not ready yet. My friend, I only wish for the time when you experience the state of euphoria I'm in now. My dreams, they... I want you to answer me, Stephen. Pierce? How does it feel? Being strangled by the noose of your own conscience. Can you live with yourself, knowing what you did? Stephen. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Pierce? Snap out of it. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Scared, huh? Didn't you enjoy it? It's a wonder how you still managed to sleep through the night. What happened to that boy? Oh, simply marvelous. Uh, I don't... No, I don't know what. Then let me show you! Stephen! There was always something inside of me that stopped me from being normal. Now, I've tried to blame my parents, my childhood, and everyone else. But, to be honest, I think the simple truth is that I am a shitty excuse of a human. I've always been bad. There are no underlying philosophies or motives for how I am. I simply exist for the purpose of sowing this earth in the minds of the people that walk through it. Everything in this transient, ephemeral shithole serves some purpose. Mine happens to be being bad. At least, I thought it was. You don't want to do this. I love you. I always have. You don't. You think you do. But you live like everyone else. I won't blame you. It's just that I do not have the capacity to live through some hurt again. It's better if you leave. Everything will be fine. You know you have to let some people in eventually, don't you? People need other people. And it's fine to not always be strong. It's not. Look, I like you. But this just proves you'll never understand me. I... Uh, I'm not... Normal. This isn't who I am. You don't love me. You love a version of me that I created to make it easier. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. You... I... I... It's fine. Everything is fine. You've lived like this long enough. I... I... Mm -hmm. I love you too. I'm glad. No, Steven, stop! Please, no! Love is a wonderful thing. I always believed it was something special even when I felt like I didn't deserve it. It feels too special a thing to be lied about. Then, I got to experience it. Their eyes, my hands against their cheek, my lips against theirs, and the juvenile feeling of everything being just fine. Love is a delusion we pay for with our sanity. We reciprocate the absurdities, and we cry through nights hoping it gets easier. We tear the skins of our faces, and we bite the nails of our fingers. We weep over our losses, and we never really get any lasting joy. Yet, in the blink of an eye, I'd love to experience this all over again. I love you. I'll always remember that. Where am I? Uh, no, 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 no. Wake up. Please wake up. Don't leave me. No, please don't. Someone, please. Please. <laughs> Do you see now? Did you see? Is the other side not magnificent? You know what to do. Shut the fuck up, man. This is seriously messed up. He just puked like a litter of blood. Shut up! Look, Stephen! Why does the snow get to vaporize and leave no evidence of its existence? Why does the sun get to leave 
after it's done scorching us for the day? Why do we never hold anything accountable for the bullshit we lived through? Yet we humans always have a trail of sin awaiting us. Indeed, like a brick wall that can invalidate years of good, if one is unfortunate enough to remember that, my comrades, is the true human torment. We cannot forget. Stephen, what? Stop. Look at the eyes. Black. I see it now. There is no meaning to this existence past the simple fact that we are slaves to ourselves. We are wildfires trapped inside glass prisons, and we are the footprints in the mud. Our existence does not exceed past the eternal heaviness we endure from our conscience. Day in and day out, we suffer. <laughs> That's right. All we humans know is suffering. We bring each other endless amounts of pain, and more significantly, we hate our own existence so much that a part of us never stops hurting. We do not let ourselves live past whatever fucked up thing we did. And that is never going to change. We don't deserve that change. Because in the end, we are scum and we will always be scum. That is the reality of our existence. We live in limitless privation and yearn for concepts like love and warmth. But we're just fossils. We are excavations to be discovered. We are annoyances waiting to be silenced. That's all we will ever be. But somehow, we fucked up. We failed to see the truth and made ourselves more important than we'll ever be. And now slowly, that realization will kill us all. There is no love. There is no right way out. And there is certainly no peace for creatures as doomed as us. Steven. The only tranquility that exists in the world lies within submission. Only when one is truly ready to give themselves up, does happiness and comforting silence has a chance to creep in. Bloodshed and lust are all us vile creatures are incarcerated to, and there is no redemption from that. We have soiled this earth long enough. I always blamed myself for being what I was, but I know now. I can see the truth. This is what my life was meant to be from the start, but now I have a chance to make it all right. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the other side. Are you ready? I'm ready. What? May you live long enough to realize the foolishness of your delay. If not, may you die pain's deaths, oblivious to the truth. <gasps> Release. At last. <laughs> 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 Isn't it wonderful? Knowing you can just accept the truth and move on from the shackles of this undeserving world. Be one of the truly great ones. Wallowing in this pile of shit is your own choice, you know. Enough! Pierce, listen to me. This is getting out of hand. Two of our crew members are fucking dead. Don't you get that? Put the fucking gun down. Whatever that thing is, it's clearly fucking with our heads. Please, stop! Oh, but that's where you're wrong, sweet Derek. They are not fucking dead. They simply transcend it. And you can too. Just open your hearts and embrace the truth, and everything will stop. All the pain will leave you. What's the one thing you desire most? Ah, the sweet taste of love. A mere delusion, but so wonderfully intoxicating nonetheless. There is actual love, you know. But we can't understand it as we currently are. No, we don't deserve that yet, for we are trash. Polluting lands fit for beings higher than us. Let that sink in. I ask you again, oh foolish Derek, won't you open your eyes to the truth? Let me help you. Take my hand. Take it. Come on now. This is all you want. Trust me. Fuck you! None of you will leave this place. 
You either die or you live long enough to see the truth. All of you fuckers will starve! Oh, yes. Thank you, Master. For considering me worthy, I feel complete. Did that thing just attach to his face like a mask? Scared, Derek. Why are you doing this? All in good time, my sweet. For now, you sleep. What the hell? It's close, Master. Very close. Pierce! Where did he go? Wait, what? <gasps> Annie? Annie, wake up! Annie! Come on! Oh my god, are they dead? They both have a pulse. Must be unconscious. What the hell happened? How long has it been? And how did we end up here? Was it Pierce that dragged us to the shuttle bay? I have to close the hatch before we all freeze to death. <coughs> He must have jammed the external hatch somehow. I don't know how to fix it. Maybe... Derek, wake up, bud! You're the fucking mechanic on this garbage can! Come on! Please! Derek! No use. Both are out cold. <sighs> Jam this one, too. Shit! I don't... I don't want to die here. Like... Stephen! Oh god. Stephen, what did you do? I don't understand. HQ said this was going to be a tough mission, but I... I can't believe Rich would send us here if he had known that we would be up against. That thing. That horrible thing. Or maybe he would have. Who's to say with those corporate types? I wish I knew where Pierce and that thing went. I can almost remember it attaching itself to his head. Unless I was dreaming. Couldn't have possibly been real. What a crazy thing to happen. Mad. Maddening. None of it makes sense. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like we never really left Mars. And all of this is some kind of weird hallucination and my brain got broken somehow. Maybe they'll just freeze to death in their sleep. And I'll watch them go as I slowly end up a popsicle myself. What a fucking way to go. Better than... Oh god, it did happen. The thing! Is there even a piece of Pierce left behind its disgusting body? Maybe it's better that we have no way of getting into contact with anyone to get rescued. But better that they didn't pick up on our last signal. Maybe we should all die here. And pray that we take that thing with us. I never thought I'd want to get married before I met you. Bet you never thought of a lot of things before meeting me. 
He could have been on a Jupiter mission now. That could have been fun. Yeah, sure. Stuck in orbit, in a wreck just slightly better equipped than the Exceltras. Just my idea of fun. I always knew you wanted adventure. What's better than exploring a potential signal from an intelligent species on Mars? If they're intelligent. If there's even anything there. Besides, I already told you I wanted to be with you. I wasn't born yesterday, Annie. As much as I know you love me, I know I'm not the only reason you said yes to the mission. <gasps> no, don't pretend to be shocked. I know you too well. That's also why I love you. You're just like me, Annie. I hope not. One of us has to be the rational one. <laughs> uh, you think Pierce will get us there and back again safe? I don't know him as you do, but I've heard things. He's a wild card for sure, but he's a good captain when he's sober. Is he? Sober, that is. I'll make sure of that as best as I can. The rest will just have to follow. It's... It's not just that, I... Those are just rumors, Annie. Don't believe everything you hear. I don't. And don't patronize me. There are official reports about his behavior on the last mission he captained. I'm gonna assume that you didn't hack into HQ's main database and read them. Because, as an employee, I'd have to report you. <coughs> mm-hmm. The last mission was a failure. Yep. However... It was a mechanical problem with the ship. That's not what <coughs> I heard. Pierce was the one with the problem. Listen, Annie. Whatever happened, happened. Pierce hasn't told me anything about it, and he doesn't want to talk about it. Whenever I've worked with him, there hasn't been a single hitch. I told you. I can keep him in check. Hope you're right. But... Let's change the subject. I don't want to spend our last night alone together on a fight. Just let me know when I should be worried when we step on the Exceltra, okay? Alrighty. Let's plan what we'll do with the money when we get back. A small house in the farming district. Three kids. If we get permission from the government. From the government? Hmm. You need to have permission from me first. I don't even know if I want to have one kid, let alone three. I'm still going for tenure when we get back. Haven't had enough of the academic life already? Fuck no. Especially if we do find something. That'll be a leg up in my department for sure. Dozens of papers, more research. And you can't do that from home? Home. A small house, eh? We can also get a dog. I always wanted a dog. I thought they were forbidden to keep as pets. Don't worry. I know a guy that can get us permission. Or we'll just tell the authorities that we'll breed him for food. Maybe we should. With three kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still worried. About what? Pierce? And the mission. I hate that Richardson hasn't shared all the info with us on the signals. Annie, oh my god. If they catch you messing inside the database, you can kiss your career goodbye. You know that the university exists only because of their money. I know. I know. Plus, all of those files were redacted anyways. <sighs> what? Okay. Stop talking before you tell me anything more that might get us both into trouble. Let's talk about those future kids of ours. Kid. Singular. And if- Maybe we can call him Pierce, after you see what a good captain he can be. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> mm. I'm here. I'm here, Derek. I thought I heard you screaming. Maybe it was just a dream. No, I heard a scream too. Leia? 
Leia! Leia, are you there? It's Leah. It has to be her. What the fuck is she doing outside? We should go help. And don't tell me no this time. Don't argue with me. Annie, I don't know about you, but I can barely feel my hands and feet. God knows how long we were here with the hatch open. Unlike you, my dear, I'm not wearing a coat. Yeah, you're right. You stay here, sweetheart. And I'll go save Leah because I have a coat on, okay? <sighs> don't do that. I didn't say we shouldn't. Stop. You can't go alone. Have you lost your mind? Then come with me, now! I'll freeze, Annie. I just need to get a coat. If I find one left. I think Seth might have taken the last one. Maybe you can put on one of the suits. Oh god, why are we wasting time talking? Let's go! I forgot about this. So much blood. And the egg. And the egg. D Derek, the egg. Yeah, I see. Where's Steven's body? Wherever Seth's body is, I guess. Derek, that's horrible. Why would you say that? You don't know everything about Seth. Well, what else could it be? Why do you think we were on the shuttle bay when the hatch opened? <gasps> <sighs> Come on. Uh, let's find me some warm clothes and go after Leia. I don't see Pierce anywhere. I think he might have gotten to her. Shit, fucking Pierce. I told you he was bad news, didn't I? Poor Steven and Seth. Poor Leia. Oh. Oh, you promised it was going to be okay. You fucking said... Stop arguing with me and let's go. Besides, I don't think it's Pierce that's the actual bad news here. Oh. What do you mean? You think it's all that... thing? That's what it is. You're right. God, you're right. Calm down. It's gonna be alright. Annie, come on. Let's get that suit and we'll figure out our next step. Oh, no. No, God. Okay. <laughs> no. We're gonna have to stay calm. You need to be your most rational self, Annie. If you lose it, I'll lose it too. And we don't want that, do we? Think of our future children. We're still not naming any of them Pierce. I know it's coming. Soon. <clears throat> so soon. I'm so excited. The time of reckoning shall come soon. We'll get them all, Master. And I'll find you more. Many more. I promise. The wretched plague that is humanity shall be extinguished and will no more represent a scourge upon this universe. All shall be yours, forever, until the last black hole dies and nothing else remains, apart from you and your kin. <laughs> You're right! You are great and divine! We are low and insignificant creatures, Master! Our desires and straying wills have corrupted us. You are grand for allowing us to transcend into a higher form of being, even though we are unworthy of your attention. Surely they must be happy, released from all that pain, all that suffering. I know how much Seth and Stephen suffered. They are now at peace and will be more useful than they had ever been. Pierce! Where did he go? Annie? Annie, They're awake! Annie. How fortunate! They'll be able to see what happens next. What a marvelous spectacle to witness. I was so sad when I thought they would have to be taken in their unconscious state. 
It's so much more visceral when you do it yourself. Uh, let's see what they're up to in there. They must be wondering what's going on. I'd be happy to enlighten them, Master. Derek and Annie are still out cold. That must have been Leah talking. I guess she's the only one awake. But where is she hiding? That little mouse. Not to worry, Master. She can't hide. She'll run, I'm sure. <laughs> but she can't hide. Close. So close. There's our mouse! No, no, please, no! No! Oh God. Please, no! Oh God. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! No! Good thing one of the suits is in tech. It's gonna be hard to walk in this. Will you put on the boots too? I don't know. What do you think happened with the suits though? Pierce probably happened to them. Your captain, your pride and joy. Stay along that, are we? I hope we'll survive this shitstorm just so I can eternally bring it up. <laughs> There. Can we finally go to look for Leah? Or her corpse? Ye of little faith. I'm just being realistic. Well, if you've given up on Leah, maybe we should focus on saving ourselves. I fucking knew it. She's been outside. No. Cut the crap. We're not going through this again, Derek. For the third fucking time. I don't want to go outside by myself once more and find her moving like a zombie through the snow with a dead eyes. Blackened, dead fucking eyes. I, 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 I can't do it again, Derek. It, 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 it was... Uh, Seth? Seth wasn't dead? He... He wasn't alive either. I, to be honest, I... I think we're probably going to find Leah in the same state. Probably Stephen too. We should be careful when we leave the storage facility. I... I still want to look for Liam. Maybe I do have some hope left. Or I just want to make sure I... God, I don't know anymore. I think our energy is better spent on finding a way out of this frozen nightmare. The transmitter isn't broken and I think I can find a way to divert some of the power- God, that's why you wanted to get the suit, isn't it? This was your damn plan the entire time, wasn't it? You plan on cutting the heating in this sad excuse of a ship and contact HQ. Maybe ask for a rescue ship, right? How long do you think they will need? Not much, I'm assuming. What? Breathable air, dummy. We must have crash landed on Earth. Fuck. Excuse me? Fuck? Do you want to get rescued? I'm the dummy. Really? <sighs> That thing isn't something that should have been brought here in the first place, Derek. I mean, uh, that was the mission. The mission? I can't believe that you would think that after everything. After what happened to Seth and Steven, not to mention what happened to Pierce. It's not contained. It's a fucking hazard for anyone that comes into contact with it. Can you imagine that thing getting loose in the world? Who knows what kind of power it has? What shit it can do? Annie, 
Do you have any idea how steep the payout will be on this? Maybe even steeper because of what it actually is. We can even ask for compensation for the trauma we suffered. <gasps> I... What? No. <sighs> what? That didn't cross your mind? But, no. Well, it crossed mine. Someone has to be pragmatic between the two of us. An academic salary wouldn't exactly get us the life of our dreams now, would it? And I'm not willing to work for rich anymore. Not after this. So, why not make the best out of a horrible situation? You're horrible. <sighs> Sweetheart. Listen to me, Derek. We can't even begin to think about fixing the transmitter until we find out exactly what's going on and stop that thing. Stop it? Kill it, you mean? No, Derek. Cuddle it into submission. We can't kill it. I think we can kill it even if we wanted to. Best thing would be to stay the fuck away from it and let HQ handle it when they arrive. If Rich even wants to send someone after us. They won't handle it. You said as much. That's not our problem, Annie. It sure fucking is our problem, Derek. It's not just that we're stuck here with it. We brought it here because our captain was stoned out of his mind to actually pay attention to the mission. And all of us just went along with it. You wanted to come on the mission? Fuck you, Derek. <sighs> Annie! Annie, wait! Please! Annie! Slippery Mouse, where have you gone? Here's he's coming to get you. You can't hide, little mouse. One escape was one too many. I'm not going to let you do that again. Maybe he won't see me here. I may not be able to see you, but I can hear you very well, little mouse. What the fuck? It's one of the many gifts that Master has given me. You'd be surprised how little mental range puny little mortals like us have. What little sense of reality we have with our mortal senses. Come now, Leah. Come out. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. I know I don't believe it. He can't possibly hear my thoughts. Oh, little mouse, but I can. Don't be scared. It'll be all over soon. You'll soon be able to see what it's like. Let me get inside your head and show you. Come on. Get the hell away from me! Get out of my head, you psycho! Oh, but mousy, mousy, mouse. We're only just beginning. <laughs> what do you want? Why are you doing this? Better that I show you. It's going critical. The alarm should start at any moment. We've got to get these people out of here, Leia. Wait, wait just one more second. Maybe it'll stabilize. It won't. You know it. Let's not risk all of these lives for your ego. How dare you talk to me like that? I know what I'm doing. That grant won't mean a thing if we all evaporate from the face of the planet. I don't want to die here. They don't want to die here. Do you? Shut the hell up and let me do my work. We'll evacuate when and if I say we should. 
I'm leaving. Then you're fired. I told you this would happen. We gotta get everyone out. Too late. The doors are closing. Contamination is imminent. No, this isn't happening. Not again. This isn't my fault. Oh, but it is your fault. Thinking that you can do anything, that you're beyond the laws of nature, all of these people, look at them. Fucking look at them melting away into nothing. At least you fucking managed to save yourself. No, no, I was just closest to the door. I was going to stop it from shutting, I swear. You just had to be the smartest person in the room, even if it was just by ordering everyone to believe that. Admit it. Admit it to yourself, Leia. Admit that you were scum. No, I just... The bottom of the barrel. It wasn't my fault. I tried. Take this gun. No. Take it. Good little mouse. You know what to do next. Sweet Leah. Do you understand, finally? Now you have witnessed the ever so coveted why. The ultimate dreadful nature of humanity within yourself. Don't be scared, little mouse. You have merely taken the first step, and now Master will help you take all the preceding ones. Just like he helped me, and Seth, and Stephen, and... Look, if you want to contact HQ, fine. Do what you gotta do. But don't make me stay here with you and pretend as I agree. I told you that I need to know if Leah is still alive. I've known her for more than 10 years, Derek. We were at uni together. I understand, but- I was the one that begged Rich to take her on this mission after what happened in her lab. For God's sake, Derek, I'm responsible for what happens to her. No, don't put that on yourself. It's not your fault, Annie. You couldn't have- And about that other matter. I'm not promising that I won't try to kill that thing. Or Pierce, if I see him. Especially if he's done something to Leah. I think you should run if you see it. Run and hide. Or come get me. So you can protect me? Or your golden goose? That's what I thought. No. B both. I want that golden goose for us. For our future. How many times do I have to say it? That thing needs to die. And pierce along with it. Don't do anything stupid, Annie. Run and come and get me if it appears. Shit. She never fucking listens to me. Never in her life. But I gotta get the transmitter up and running. I can't just go after her because she feels guilty and needs to fix what she thinks is wrong. I need to be the pragmatic one. Be reasonable. Be smart about this. God damn it, she doesn't get it. She just doesn't get it. X all morally superior to me like I'm some fucking monster and she's some kind of, what, angel? She's no fucking angel. Stupid Exeltress. I'll have to find the main power cable. God fucking damn it! Huh, there it is. I hope it doesn't fry me. But the way things are going, it just might. It just might. <laughs> Garbage can, not garbage cannot. Ha! Huh. You may call me the galaxy's greatest mechanic, Rich. This is why you sent me on this mission. This is why you always send me on the worst fucking missions. 
he'd probably say that I'll be able to fix the ship if I was the greatest. And he'd probably be right. <sighs> that should do it. Let's see if it worked. I know that, babe. Let's see if we can circumnavigate that glitch and get that communication console going. I don't want to have to go old school on the transmitter. Uh, and I should have been here for this part. Shit! She'll get us both killed. Or worse. <laughs> you don't say. Too little, too late. Stop establishing protocol. Divert all auxiliary power solely to the communication console. Error. Error. Unable to divert auxiliary power. Power diverted. Establishing communication with HQ. Richardson. Location unknown. Error establishing communication with HQ. Richardson. Unable to establish. Try again. Establishing communication with HQ. Richardson. Establishing. Thank God. I really didn't think this would work. <sighs> Finally, a moment to think. What the hell was Spears thinking not ordering this first thing? What was I thinking not to suggest it? It's like my brain had been short-circuited. Like the Exotra AI. Error processing thoughts. <laughs> Honestly though, now that I'm thinking about it, has that thing been influencing us the entire time? Since we heard the signal up close? How long has it been Pierce linked to that thing? Uh, fuck! Annie was right. She was right. We should fucking kill it. Smash it to bits. Take it apart. Burn it. What the, what the fuck? Annie? Annie, sweetheart! Communication established. HQ Richardson. Waiting for confirmation. Waiting for confirmation. Confirmed. HQ Richardson. Annie? 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 Uh. Uh, Annie? What? I... I... I didn't... I didn't do it, Derek. <laughs> it wasn't me! It wasn't me! Annie? Sweetheart? Put the gun down. <laughs> Come on now. Give me the gun. It'll be okay. Come on. That's my girl. That's it. I'll just keep the revolver with me, okay? Is she dead? Derek, is she dead? Um, uh, Annie, I, uh, I think... Please, please, Jack, go, go see, I can't, I can't... Um, uh, um... Jack! Stop it. Calm down. No, no. Don't sit in the snow, Annie. Leah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Please stop. I'll go and check. Leah? Oh, God. Leah. What is it? Is she dead? Derek! Very dead. Yeah, she's dead. No. 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 Hey. 
sweetheart, you have to calm down. You have to tell me what happened. Did Leah come after you? Try to hurt you? Where did you find Pierce's revolver? Pierce. Pierce. Yes. Where? Pierce! He... I... He was here. Yes, I think. And... I... And... I... I... I was also here. And Leah... She stood over there. Oh God! Uh, she looked at me. I, oh God! No! 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 Oh no! No! I know. I know, sweetheart. I saw what happened to her eyes. Was she still standing at that point? Were you holding the gun? Pierce have I was? Did... Pierce? Leah? Leah? Oh god! Oh god, is she dead? Yeah, I already told you that, Annie. Oh no! What the fuck? What kind of hell is this? Annie. Sweetheart, you gotta get up. Come on, you'll freeze. We have to go inside. No, we have to... We have to check on Leah again. She's dead. We're not. We have to go inside. Dead? I don't know. Derek, I don't know if she's dead. God, Annie! She's more than fucking dead! She's a prop for fucking horror movie! Come on, get the fuck up, let's... Derek. What? I don't think she's dead. I saw her. She wasn't dead. In my mind, I saw her. I, I think... I think that's what it was. I saw other things. And Pierce. I think... I think he was there too. Stephen and Seth. What the hell are you talking about, Annie? <sighs> and... Whatever trauma you suffered, but we have to go. Come on, get up, please. We need to get ourselves inside the ship. I'm just saying, I don't think Leah's dead. <sighs> okay, Derek, let's go inside. Let's go anywhere you want. I don't think it'll make any difference whatsoever. W what? Let's get inside. Annie? What did you mean by that? Get inside the ship. Where the egg was. Where Stephen died. Where it's warm. But didn't you cut the power to the heating, Derek? <laughs> uh, will not make any difference. Established. HQ Richardson. Approximate location transmitted. Exeltra 539. SOS message received by Exeltra HQ. Exeltra HQ. Reply received at 0900 hours. Confirmed. Playback of reply engaging. HQ Richardson. Message playback engaged. Exeltra 539, we have received your signal. Repeat. Exeltra 539, your signal was received. Exeltra 539, your signal was received by Exeltra headquarters. 
Vince and Richardson. Your location has not yet been confirmed. We have insufficient information to proceed. Triangulation was inconclusive, showing Excelsior 539 is earthbound. Without further confirmation on the location or the status of the crew, a rescue team cannot be sent to your aid. Protocol suggests setting up the transmitter as a beacon at a higher altitude as a first step if communication cannot be established due way. The onboard AI SOS message is not sufficient proof for rescue. Without further information, we are not allowed to proceed. Pierce, has the Excelsior really crash landed on Earth? You have to give me more to work with here, buddy. Signal has you somewhere in Antarctica. That's an expensive trip. Too many permissions. You know I won't be able to convince the company to spend more money on a rescue without confirmation. Oof, that you found what we were looking for on Mars. I'm telling you this is a friend, Pierce. Find a way to send a message back with details on the potential cargo. You know how this works, Pierce. You probably best of all. <sighs> if there's no suggestion of something being potentially brought back, they need to know if the mission was a success. <sighs> I probably shouldn't be saying bucket. McGill has been eating at me since we lost contact. Can you imagine that? Pierce? Me? Having a conscience? I sure was shocked. Additionally, we noticed a change in the signal from Mars when we lost contact with the Excelsior. We knew you were on your way back, so we didn't do much, but Pierce, the reaction in HQ, it's been wild. The company thinks that they wanted something by sending you up there. I, however, am not still convinced that the trip was worth it. Though for your sake, I hope that you were able to acquire the coveted loot. Anyway, the point is that you should not simply rely on SOS protocols. The company is awaiting a specific reply. But, um, the company does send its prayers and wishes that all of you are alive and in good health. Naturally. Richardson out. Message playback concluded. Awaiting instruction. <laughs> Derek came through. He always does. I guess we should reply, shouldn't we? Perfect opportunity to take our little project to the rest of the world and release humanity from its shackles. I wouldn't want to keep this gift you've given me all to myself, Master. Seems like we already have a place to begin. Exeltra is the perfect hub. Recording message. Captain Pierce hailing Exeltra HQ from Exeltra 539. The ship was severely damaged during the emergency landing. The entire crew is dead and I am the sole survivor. The loot was acquired against all odds. Holding in containment. It is safe with me, Rich. You can tell everyone back at HQ that it's even bigger than what they could have imagined in their wildest dreams. That would surely get some choppers in the air. Send help. Repeat. Send help. The loot has been acquired. Pierce out. Message recorded. Compressing. Message message sent to HQ with Richardson. Send message. There they are. A bit sooner than expected. Pierce? Annie, for God's sake, please stop and talk to me. I don't think I have anything left to say. Do I suddenly mean so little to you? This has nothing to do with you, or me, 
or anyone that was ever a part of this mission. I'm not following. Whatever we picked up back on Mars, unknowingly or not, is bigger than any of us could have imagined when we signed up. Pierce? Derek, look. The Council. Reply? I got communication back online and sent an SOS before. Playback message. Has the message been corrupted? What? Why? Come on, babe. Everything was alright when I left you. Restricted? Restricted to whom? We should have expected that, Derek. I'm not surprised. I knew this would end even worse than how it started. I told you that nothing would make any difference. Stop it, Annie. Shit, this is your domain. Can't you at least fucking try to get access back? Why? <laughs> Why? Do you want to get rescued? Annie, we don't know if Pierce has contacted HQ. They might be sending a team. I thought you wanted to make sure that thing doesn't make it out. You would be willing to sacrifice yourself. Let's not jump to any conclusions. I just think we need to warn them. Warn them? Derek... We can't just lead them to the slaughter. They need to come prepared to kill that thing. To protect themselves and us. To protect us! That's not what would happen. Annie! Don't pretend to be naive. You worked for the company longer than I have. I know. Rich has known me ever since I was a kid. He wouldn't. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so what do you suggest we do, Annie? Shoot Pierce like you shot Leia? Shot Leah? It wasn't me, Derek. I told you. Then who fucking was it, Annie? Who was it? You saw what Steven did. Do I need to say it? So now you do think she's dead? I said she got shot, not killed. I don't know what they are. They? <sighs> <sighs> okay, Annie. You're gonna need to start making sense, or start working on getting us access back. We can't get access back. We need to focus on killing it. Like I told you even before, Leah, I'm even more convinced that we have to do that now. Convinced to the bottom of my soul that there is nothing else that matters more than that. Especially because I think that Pierce had responded before we got here. You might be right about Pierce sending a message to HQ. I don't want to believe it, but... There is no but. How many bullets do you have left? Maybe one. One. Only one. Let's hope it's enough. Message addendum incoming. From Excelltra HQ Richardson. They're coming. Let's kill this bastard before they get here then. What about us? We don't need bullets. The cold can take care of that. What? Stop for a moment here, Annie. Let's reiterate. What's your actual endgame? Death? Life. Don't play games. I'm not sure I want to freeze to death. I'd rather go out an old man. On your very own farm. I know. But that doesn't matter anymore, Derek. Wow. 
That was fucking cruel, Annie. I'm not being cruel. I'm stating facts. You and I don't matter anymore. The word matters. Never knew you wanted to be a hero. I just don't want to be the villain. And I'm sure that you don't either. You're more of a hero type than I am anyways. <sighs> I'm not playing. I'm trying to convince you. I don't know about you, but I haven't exactly been feeling myself since we left Mars. And I don't know what that means. What happened to Leah, it... It messed me up at the moment. But I get it now. The shock of what happened opened my eyes to our situation. I can't fully explain it, but there are moments when... When? When I have trouble telling what's what. Where I end and something else begins. Actually, I understand what you mean. But what bothers me... Before the egg cracked, I, I saw something. Though, when I try to remember what it was, it's like, it's like I'm trying to remember a dream. It, it just makes no fucking sense. That's how I felt. With Leia? I guess. Maybe even before. I still don't think she's dead, though. I don't know. Is it some kind of a feeling? A memory that I can't explain? It's like my mind is being scrambled. It keeps going back in time before we left for the mission. When we were at my place. Me too. The dream or memory or whatever the hell it was just keeps taking me back to that point in time. Well, shit. To say the unspeakable, no matter how crazy it might sound, I'd say it's that thing that latched itself to Pierce influencing me. Us. Maybe that has been happening for a while. How long has it been in our heads? What is it doing? God knows what it's doing to Pierce. If he's even in there anymore. That's bleak, Annie. If you think that's bleak, I'm not even going to tell you what I think it's doing with Leah, or Steven, or Seth. Don't tell me. I'd rather not think about it anymore. Yeah. So, let's get practical. Should we leave the canisters here? Let them leak out around the deck? Mm. Maybe a little towards the center. Mm. Help. I need some help here. Here. <sighs> yeah, this should be good. The question that remains, who's going to lure Pierce to the main deck? You're a faster runner, and I'm a better shot. You sure that's going to be enough to ignite the fuel? Annie. Okay. Okay. That settles it, then. <sighs> I love you, Annie. I love you, too. Be careful. <sighs> Here we go. I have to keep calm, keep my mind working. If I start thinking about... Where could he be? I doubt he's gone far from the ship. Maybe uh, where Leah was, or close to the debris on the port side of the ship. What was that? Could it be? Is it him? Shit. Don't lose your nerve, Annie. Keep your shit together. All of it together. <sighs> K-1, 
keep it together. There's no escaping now. Whatever it is, it'll be over soon. You say that again. Pierce? None other, Annie. What? What? Where are you? Well, I'm right here, Annie. Or should I say, we? <laughs> We're waiting for you, sweet Annie. Come join us, Annie. Thanks. I'm good as is. I would like to see your ugly mug, though, Pierce. Oh, are you sure about that, Annie? I don't want to make you cry again. Show your ugly ass! <gasps> oh my god! What the, what the fuck have you done to them? I've given them true life, Annie. They are now part of me. Flesh, bone, and all. Very soon, you and your precious Derek will be part of me, too. No, 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 no! Get away! Ah! Pierce, if there's a part of you left in there, you have to know this is wrong. You have to stop doing this. You have to stop. Fate cannot be wrong. My master operates in dimensions of space-time far outreaching our own. He has told me. He has shown me this, Annie. It's what was always meant to be. You've lost your mind. Yes, but what I've gained makes my human mind seem as pitiful as you sound to me now. And flesh becomes meaningless, dispensable. Let me show you, Annie. Like I showed Leah and the others. Your mind is already primed to accept. Master made me sure of that. You just need to let me inside. You'll see your weakness then, and you'll beg me to help you transcend your mortal coil. Come join us, Annie. Fuck you, Pierce. If you're not going to join us willingly, then I'll find my own way inside your mind, and you will not be able to stop me, or even fight me. I'll come in through your dreams and desires, your worst nightmares and regrets. You won't even notice it happening. Then you'll be ready to accept how small you truly are. Derek! Annie, run! Run, fools! Run as much as you want, and as far as you want! I'll still find you! I'll still get you! I don't know whether to yell at you for wasting that bullet or hug you for saving me from that horror show. I didn't expect that. Did you see? I told you Leo wasn't dead. Not all is lost. I can ignite the fuel with electrical wire and will burn whatever that thing has turned into a crisp. Oh shit! Let's hope not. Prep the electrical wires. What will you do? I'll see what else we can use to bring it down. Or at least protect us until you get the fire started. Nice. A wrench might not be much, but maybe it'll keep its horrible mug away from us. Mm -hmm. uh, what the hell are you doing, Annie? Letting him in? He obviously won't fit through the main hatch. Shit, you're right. And there he is. 
Are you done with the wires? There, ready. But I'll need to get real close. I think you should stand next to the main hatch and escape when the fire starts before the canisters go boom. I'm not leaving you. We're in this together. Sweetheart, it's going to be horrible. Like I haven't seen all the most horrible things by now. Besides, I... I shouldn't be saved. Derek, ready? As I'll ever be. How lucky am I to find you both waiting for me? Derek thinks that you should try to get me closer. Huh. But closer to what? Oh! Right. That's what I was smelling. Get out! Derek! Mm, go! Annie! Hit one of the heads on its body! Hit it with all you fucking got! Get out of the way! Now! alive. Uh, Annie? Getting cold. Come on, sweetie. There's dessert too. Your favorite. <laughs> Did you play with the nice doggos? Go inside. Daddy's waiting at the table. I'll be a moment. <sighs> Our home. Our little piece of heaven. Sweetheart, take a seat. Everything's served. <sighs> Pierce just told me that he's finally seen our neighbors. Yeah? The new couple? That's nice, sweetie. Said their names were Seth and Rachel. They were nice to him. His words, not mine. And you know this little guy doesn't like anyone. Thinks everyone's stupid. They must be real special. <laughs> they asked him about the Promare litter. Sure, we have too many anyway. Maybe we should have Seth and Rachel over for dinner. That'd be nice, right, Piercy? <laughs> That's a neat idea, sweetheart. Say, Derek, I was thinking about the baby names for the twins. What do you think about Steven and Leah? Baby Steven and baby Leah. I like it. What do you think, buddy? You like your brother and sister to be called that? Piercy, Daddy asked you a question. What did you say? He likes it too. What's happening with those dogs? 
Piercy eat your supper? Maybe I should check on them. They must have found something in the field. Let them be, Derek. Eat your food. What's the matter, sweetie? I... I think they're dragging something toward the house. That's just your mind playing tricks on you, sweetheart. They, they are. Look, Annie. What the heck is that? It's like a massive beast. No. Wait. What is that? Can you come see, sweetheart? Annie?